here at the University of Delaware, the guys who want to and consent, um, they are outfitted with what's called the head impact telemetry system or the HIT system. We're actually looking at uh, the effect of cumulative hits across the season, the total amount of g-force that they take, as well as their mean um, ex head accelerations, essentially. Across the board, at really all ages of participation, what we see is that um, when you are looking at the impacts everyone is sustaining, the most come to the front and the back of the head. Our offensive, defensive linemen are the ones taking the most amount of hits, again, across the board. They're lining up, they hit each other every single play. And that all goes to the front of their head here, and you can kind of see on this guy here where you would take all that. Our player here that's tackling our receiver is actually leading in with his head down um, and so that's no good for so many reasons um, that's what will set you up at risk for a serious spinal injury or paralysis a c-spine injury um, but it also hits to the top of the head are again throughout uh, literature are shown to be the highest amount of force sustained when you hit that way no helmets are going to prevent a concussion. Um, they're really just designed to prevent um, skull fractures and serious trauma like that. I'm going to demonstrate how this is not a good fit. Um, for starters, I can pull this down and he can no longer see. You should have about two to three finger widths um, between like the eye, uh, the eye or the eyebrow and the top of the helmet just to make sure if it does shift, it's not going to ever impede someone's vision. Um, so the another thing I can do here, if he keeps his head on straight, is I can move this left and right. Um, and you can see how that's sliding a lot, which obviously is not giving you proper protection. You want this resting a little bit higher up on the occiput in the back here. Um, if this goes back too far, it's going to potentially um, stop him from being able to move his neck, which you know, when you're trying to avoid impacts or um, anything like that, you need to be able to have your full range of motion so you can see the field. If you see the inside here, sometimes you can kind of customize these or inflate them with an air bladder. Um, if you do have a helmet that fits pretty well, it just needs to be tighter or maybe a little bit looser. Um, you can kind of pump air in and pump air out to those bladders just to make it uh, the fit more customized.